Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta. And today we are going to discuss how to run canonical correlation in SPSS. Canonical correlation analysis is a statistical method used to understand the relationship between two sets of variables. It seeks to identify and measure the associations between the sets by finding the pairs of canonical variables, that is the linear combination of the original variables from each set that have a maximum correlation with each other. The applications of canonical correlation are, we'll start with social science. It analyzes the relationship between students' academic performance and various influencing factors like socioeconomic status, attendance, and extracurricular activities. Sociology. It examines the relationship between social factors, that is income, education level, and outcomes like health, job satisfaction, and social mobility. Medical and health sciences, epidemiology. It studies the relationship between lifestyle factors, which are diet, exercise, and health outcomes, such as incidence of chronic diseases. Clinical psychology. It investigates the relationship between different psychological skills, such as anxiety, depression, and physiological measures, such as heart rate, blood pressure. Business and marketing, it analyzes the relationship between consumer characteristics like demographics, lifestyle, and purchasing behavior. Human resources, it studies the relationship between employee attributes, that is skills, job satisfaction, and job performance outcomes. Environmental science, ecology, it examines the relationship between environmental factors such as temperature, humidity, and species diversity or abundance. Agriculture, it studies the relationship between agriculture practices such as irrigation, fertilizer use, and crop yields. Now, let's take one case study. Consider a scenario where a researcher wants to study a relationship between a set of physical health measures and a set of mental health measures among a group of individuals. So, we have collected the data of 20 individuals. Their blood pressure, cholesterol level, BMI is recorded. The stress level, anxiety score, and depression scores are recorded. So the first set consists of physical health variables, blood pressure, cholesterol levels, body mass index. Index. This is the first group. The second group is stress level, anxiety score, and depression score. I want to run this in SPSS. So we'll go and analyze, correlate, canonical correlation activity now transfer the variables of mental health in set one sorry variables of physical health the very these are the variables of the physical health and variables of mental health in set two so this is physical health mental health click okay So this is output we, we got now we are interested in canonical correlation this output one then we are interested in canonical loadings set one canonical loadings set two we are not interested in cross loadings and proportion of variance explain this output okay so we'll start with the first one and that is canonical correlations so the pair the first pair, it's eigenvalue 37.642, correlation 0.987 and p-value less than 0 0.05. So only those pairs are considered whose eigenvalue, this value is more than one and the p-value should be, this value should be less than 0 0.05. So only the first pair qualifies for this. So as the p-value of the first pair of canonical variables is less than 0 0.05, it explains a significant amount of relationship between the physical and mental health variables with a very high canonical correlation of 0.987. This indicates a strong relationship between the linear combinations of the physical and mental health variables. Now, what is the interpretation of pair 2 as a p-value of the second pair? Just see. And the third pair, this also. The p-values are more than 0 0.05. So this pair indicates weaker and non-significant relationship for this pairs. 
Now I'll take the set one canonical loadings, which is available here. So we will copy set one canonical loadings, set two canonical loadings. And let's do the interpretation. Canonical loadings, also known as a canonical structure coefficients, are the correlation between the original variables. These are original variables and the respective canonical variance. It's very simple. See, it's just like a factor analysis. Factor 1 and its relation with the statements, that is the variables. Factor 2 and its relationship with the variables. So the interpretation of canonical loading is similar to factor loadings. The first canonical covariate, this one, is strongly correlated with all the three physical health variables, blood pressure, cholesterol level, BMI. Though the relationship is negative, but it's negatively strongly correlated. And the BMI all have a negative loadings indicating that as this variables increases, the canonical, uh, canonical variate decreases. Set 1. This is group 1. Uh, the factor 1. Okay. Now, the second canonical variate. The second canonical variate has a low positive loading on blood pressure, moderate negative loading on cholesterol level, and low positive loading on BMI. This suggests that the cholesterol level is a primary contributor to the second canonical variate. But its overall impact is relatively small given. So all those values which are less than uh, minus 0.5 or plus 0.5, it cannot be considered. The relationship is very weak. So its overall impact is relatively small given low significance of this variant. Now let's understand this. If you recall the factor analysis, there are some statements which contribute to factor 1 and there are some statements which contribute to factor 2. So it's similarly here also. Now we will take set 2 canonical ladings, the variables for the mental health. So the first canonical variate, the first canonical variate is strongly correlated with all the three mental health variables. Stress level, anxiety score and depression score all have negative loadings, indicating that as these variables increase, the canonical variate decreases. The second canonical variate has a low positive loading on stress level, very low negative loading on anxiety score and low positive loading on depression score. This suggests that the stress level and the depression score, these two, are the primary contributors to the second canonical covariate, but their overall impact is relatively low because its value is very, it's less than 0.5. So their overall impact is relatively small given the low significance of this variate. Now I have taken uh, the output of output of canonical correlations, proportion of variance explained, canonical loadings and uh, set 1 canonical loadings and set 2 can canonical loadings on the same slide. Okay. So from where I'll get the proportion of variance explained, it is here. Here is it. Okay. First pair, its correlation, eigenvalue, p-value. Now, the canonical loadings for the first pair, the first canonical covariate, okay. So you have to see first row, first column, first column. And in this also, you will have to see uh, set one by self for first pair, set two by self for the first pair. Now how we report this thing in the paper, let's see. You can see the values minus 0 0.992, minus 0 0.930, minus 0 0.969. So these are these values, okay, and minus 0 0.970, minus 0 0.998, minus 0 0.989, these are these values, 0 0.929 and 0 0.972 are, are these values, 0 0.929, 0 0.972 are these values, okay. 0.987 this is this value now we want to have a proportion so what i'll do i'll take the eigenvalues 1 2 and 3 1 2 and 3 i'll take the total now the first pair the first pair its proportion so 37 
0.642 divided by 37.924 0.992 converted into the percentage so this is very high and it's very good now how to write the interpretation see f1 is a factor made by this variables so f1 explains 92.9 percent of 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 all these variables very good now just observe these variables they are negatively correlated with f1 okay f2 so these are the variables negatively correlated with f2 and f2 explains 97.2 percent so this is also good f1 and f2 they both are positively correlated 0.987 which is very good and the proportion is 99.2 percent so the proportion of variance explained is 99.2 percent this is also quite good now what's the interpretation see this is negative 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 and this is negative all are negative it means that if stress level increases blood pressure increases if stress level increases cholesterol increases if stress level increases bmi increases similarly anxiety increases blood pressure increases anxiety increases cholesterol increases anxiety increases bmi increases depression score increases blood pressure cholesterol bmi they all will increase why because they all are negatively correlated now let's take one example i'm just changing the sign of this bmi i'm making it positive now these are negative these are positive what does it mean if stress level increases bmi decreases i'm just giving you an example if anxiety increases bmi decreases because they are negatively correlated depression score increases bmi decreases if, B, if depression score increases bmi decreases now if you want to report second model the second pair just see on the screen so second row second column second column second row okay now i'll put these figures 0.0245 minus 0 0.345 0 0.116 so here is it okay 0 0.161 0 0.027 the negative minus 0 uh, negative 0 0.027 0 0.117 so these are the numbers okay 0 0.044 0 0.013 so these are the numbers the correlation 0.455 proportion of variance explained now i'll take the second one 0.261 divided by 37.924 so this is 0 0.006 so proportion of variance explained is 0.6 percentage now they are all very weakly correlated because their values are less than 0.5 positive and these are the values which are less than minus 0.5 so we cannot consider this relation but if you want to interpret just for understanding purpose this is positive this is negative this is positive this is positive negative positive so if stress level increases then blood pressure and bmi will increase cholesterol will drop okay if anxiety increases then blood pressure will drop bmi will drop but cholesterol will increase i hope you understand this okay this is positive this is positive positive negative so if depression increases blood pressure increases bmi increases but cholesterol drops this is just to explain you how to write the interpretation so this was all about how to run canonical correlation in SPSS. for more videos on advanced data analysis using SPSS, kindly subscribe to my channel you can also refer my playlist in which I uploaded videos on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.